Hi, here's my short review about the functionality of latest um, device from Boyu with the Lightbook RS. Here's the um, home screen of the device. It's uh, quite easy to understand and to navigate in it. Um, the recently read or recently added books appear here. You also have the possibility to go to the library and navigate here. There are many different views like list views, uh, big uh, covered uh, pictures and uh, you can also sort in it, filter in it and uh, look for particular titles. So also you have the possibility to use the file manager and just uh, navigate like um, like you would navigate in Windows Explorer in the folders uh, structure in the, or, um, or just go to a particular category like here PDFs there are 10 PDFs in the uh, storage of this book so you can open those PDFs uh, from file manager directly but uh, most likely you will use, uh, or most frequently you will use this uh, um, home screen area uh, just to navigate in between your recently read, read uh, titles. So for example, I would like to open this book. Just click on it. It opens. That's the very first page of the book. You can adjust the uh, view of the book. For example, you can adjust the um, page margins like auto cropping, this original size. You see the margins here, and using auto crop, the margins will be cut off. So you also can adjust here the. Um, contrast ratio for example when the pictures appear too dark you can let it show a little bit more detailed more shallow like here for example so I'm going to original and here also to original just to show you another option to adjust your page. For example, as you can see, the device sh uh, shows the book with big margins and you can adjust it here. Also manually, just by setting the size of the page to the optimum size. Here I'm using the stylus. It's more convenient. Confirm. So now the page appears in um, more comfortable to read size. can underline it, annotate it, copy the text and use it in your, in your notes for example. Go to the wiki or also you can use the translation functionality and translate the selected text. For example here I have translated it to Russian. You can also translate it to any other language for example to French. So now it's translated to French. If you select a uh, sole uh, word, you also can 
um, automatically use the offline uh, dictionary for example here's uh, English French dictionary the, I have installed here just to throw, to show you some other dictionaries but uh, it's not a problem you can install any uh, free dictionary in Stardict format and use it for for the translation or for learning of new words uh, I I'm not going to explain the functionality of a dictionary because it's a um, a, lit, a little bit of of team but I would like to show you the annotation functionality here for example you can select particular text and go to underline it it's now underlined when you just go to this page you see this un underlined text when you click on it you also uh, would be able to see your notes to this text when there are no notes you can add them for example and save it so now you can see here's a, a small icon shows that to this underlined uh, text part there are existent uh, some uh, notes to it for example underlining here I'm doing something like scribbling here something like handwritten text test of and writing so here when you open menu afterwards you are will be able to go to the table of contents of the of the PDF and navigate for example in this table of content with which will be um, created automatically for example to this page or next um, you would be able to go to the cross line annotations which you made for example these are my comments to this citation here's just underlined text which appears or to the handwritten here are my scribbles of recently made handwritten annotations and you can go to this page and see what did you scribble there. Here's a short uh, preview and you can go there to the page and see, see it. Um, you can also delete them. Or you can delete uh, handwritten annotations from this menu directly. Just select pages you want to delete the handwritten annotations and click on this. Confirm. Okay. Once you did uh, some annotations in a um, in a um, PDF, you can also do following. 
you can go to the menu here and export these annotations in another those um, a feature allows you to create uh, a copy of this PDF that PDF file with the flattened uh, handwritten annotations. When you do that, a new file will be created. I'm going to show you. I, it will be created here. I'm going to File Manager and. In this structure, you see notes, and here is my recently used PDF file with the annotations I, I did. For example, this is the first page, and when I do some annotations here, something like this, just uh, just to show to, to show you how it works, and export the book. Okay, confirm. So, as you can see, there is another copy of this book now. And those annotations cannot be deleted anymore. They are flattened with the PDF. You see here, this is my exported and recently opened PDF file with my scribbles here. Uh, stylus, here you can adjust the line width, the color. We have black and white, as like for um, black background, you can write white color. And there are two types of uh, uh, style snip, like um, ink writer and uh, pencil. Pencil means there's the, it doesn't react to the pressure. It just always the same line. For example, thin line, something thinner. And the ink writer means there's a particular pressure sensitivity. So if you press harder, the line becomes thicker. Okay, that's it. I think. Um, it's enough for the start and uh, when you have some questions you can always contact us and I will explain you more detailed how uh, how the um, particular feature works and when you need some other features just contact us and we will try to implement them bye bye